welcome back if you're joining me from another video if you're joining me for the first time hello i have been ordering some dolls from aliexpress and if you've been on my instagram you'll know which ones have kind of come i haven't got them all up there but i've been posting up a few snippets such as this bb girl that i've ordered now i can't take credit for finding her i actually saw her on j dolls um, before I ordered her because when I saw her being opened on J Doll's channel I immediately saw the face and thought oh gosh they've gone and, and copied a Dell doll which if you're a um, an Asian uh, ball jointed doll fan you'll know is the younger sister of Pulip's boyfriend <laughs> there are some differences there are differences but she does remind me a lot of a doll doll okay so she came like this just wrapped in a, like a black rubbish bag outer rim um, and some bubble inside now I have seen people that have got these really beautiful packaged dolls in a box and mine didn't come in that she just kind of came like this I was, I was like, yeah, uh, is my one like defective or something? But we'll get into that as we go through it. She cost around $55 New Zealand and I'll have the conversion there with free shipping. There are variations of her. Um, you can get different variables of her. I have seen ones that come as standalone BB girl dolls. I don't know if they come with the extras or if their faces are removable. I might actually buy one to test that because I'm actually curious myself. So let's get into her. Since she is so underpackaged, it's just merely a case of me taking off this plastic lid, which is really, really weird to me. I don't know why some people, maybe it's a particular shop I brought her from, but some people got them beautifully in these display cases, etc. And mine just came in this really rough looking box. <laughs> so the dog just pops out. Um, there's no ties holding her in. I chose the pink one because, well, I'm a girl and I like pink. Uh, and I also, I loved the outfit that she came with, the pink outfit. You can get ones um, in yellow, red, all sorts of different outfits. But I just thought this pink outfit was really, really cute and went so well with her hair. So let's bring her up close and have a look. So here she is up close. I actually really, really like her face. Um, I'm gonna bring up a Dal doll and you can see them together and you can make the call yourself if you think she's heavily influenced by her. I don't think she is a copy of her, but I do think she is a little bit influenced by her look because the moment I saw Jay opening her, I was like, hey, it's a faker doll doll. <laughs> I know there's a lot of faker blifes on AliExpress, but um, I don't think there's many faker dolls or pulips that I've seen. So I think she might be influenced by her. Her wig is quite thick. Um, you can see the back there from me, but it when it goes down, it does hide it well. There isn't a lot of product in it. Um, and even though she does have face plates, which we'll get into in a bit, when you're looking, it doesn't actually show up that well. Um, I mean, it's hidden well, so it's nothing that detracts from the doll to making her quite pretty. I do like her face. And we're going to get into the face plates and little extras soon. But first I want to show this dress, which has a little white shirt underneath, collared shirt here, with a bow on the front. So the shirt... <laughs> <laughs> up here I mean they haven't gone through huge quality checks but they're adequate there is little string where you know no one snipped off the strings at the end it is rather well made it's not cheap material and it is really cute it is absolutely cute look at this little lace around here so you'll see that the doll is quite a skinny doll skinny doll big head which I usually try my best to stay away from i'm not a fan of dolls with tiny bodies and big heads but i do i do warm to some of them such as Shubi, shibijuku girls etc let's go down to her legs so these are her legs she has teeny teeny tiny feet <laughs> teeny teeny tiny feet but you will see from those teeny teeny tiny feet she has wrist 
uh, ankle movement, sorry, so she can go up and down. She can rotate her leg at the top here. So her leg can rotate that way. She does have knee movement. And of course she can kick back and forward and to the side like a ninja or ballerina if you prefer. Underneath she has boxer undies on which I thought was really interesting. I thought they would give her, you know, some cute little girl undies, but she has boxer <laughs> undies on, which I suppose are actually easier to make than undies. And those are held up by an elastic band at her waist. The dress and shirt are done by Velcro and they are two separate pieces. But yes, a very, very cute doll for $55. But wait, just like Ginsu knives, there's more. You may have noticed at the top of the box, there is two more face plates here, which I think makes it really, really cool what's about to happen next. Now, from what I've seen, from the, there are quite a few sellers of these BB dolls on AliExpress, and each one that I went through basically says you cannot choose which face plate you want. There is a large range of them. They have a picture of all the different face plates around the doll, but it is luck which ones you end up with. Um, there's also like a piggy one, there's um, rabbit ones, and I say rabbit ones because I thought I had the rabbit one, but I learned that I actually have, oh my goodness, and they're all falling out, the pussycat one. But first off, let's look at the sleepy one. So this is the one my daughter actually likes. So she has a closed eye, like she is sleeping, and like a customized doll, she has little designs all over her eyelids. A black eyeliner and like a baby doll closing her eyes a slight slit between the eye and the plastic so you are able to get that 3d effect so if you can see my finger wiggling around behind the eye there so you can actually see her eye underneath and that beautiful pouty semi face it's really well painted I've got to say that whoever spray painted these and did the little designs has done a good job. Now those that know me will know I'm an absolute fan of bunny rabbits. My spirit animal is a great rabbit. <laughs> that is what I'm probably going to be in my next lifetime. So I thought I had the rabbit face plate and got all excited until Astra pointed out the whiskers on each side and so did my husband and they told me I had got the cat face and then just because mummy was being stubborn I went on and I was like now I got the rabbit face and then realized that the rabbit face doesn't have whiskers so I have got the cat face however for $55 for the entire doll and what's more to come and three face plates as it is three since she is wearing one as well remember this is a real bargain and again the painting is really good there's the magnet at the top that holds it in. Let's play with her head. But wait, <laughs> there's more. <laughs> so just before we change the face plates, let me show you what she can do with her eyes. Just like a Blythe doll, there is a mechanism in the back of her head just under her wig, which I kind of stick the wig over it just to hide it. You can do that quite easily. Now, clicking in this normally me oh there we go <laughs> means that you can change her eye color and her eye direction so we have gone from those gorgeous green eyes to some purple eyes looking off to the right here it can be a bit difficult to change her eyes i will say that ah let me get this wig off let's take her wig off <laughs> off you come my dear probably good i show this anyway so this is me, I just want to say, this is not the doll's fault, this is me being derpy. And you'll see that the wig is held on by Velcro on her back. So let's press the button right in. And there we have some eyes looking to the front in the purple and very mystical look. Then we have some orange eyes looking off to the left. So you can see that that was me. I couldn't press the button down well because of the way I had the wig and the way I was holding the doll <laughs> and, the, and the table creaking underneath me. I was trying to not let the table creak underneath me. But, but basically you have four eye options. And then with the face plates, they're super easy to change. You just remove it like this and she looks like something out of Five Nights at Freddy. <laughs> 
with the eye mechanism there. Very weird and very cool and very scary. So I'm going to leave it on the purple eyes and that is the standard faceplate. And I do think you might get that one with every single doll since every doll I've seen has this faceplate as the norm. So here is the CP face paste. You can see that it just attaches to that magnet. Now you just have to wiggle around the ears. You'll see this gap here to make sure that it clicks in completely. Oh, and make sure the clothes don't get stuck in there. And there you have your sleepy face doll. I'll just get the wig on. So here she is with her sleepy face plate on. Just very basic. And if you want to role play that she has gone nine eyes, it's really, really cute. But this is not my favorite. The next one is. Okay, this is by far my favorite faceplate. I I'm quite a fan of um of anthropomorphic dolls and um, animal type human animal to human human to animal I should say dolls. Uh, Catherine's collection, of course, I've put up some of her my anth uh, some of her um, Victorian type cats and frogs and stuff up on my Instagram that I have in my doll collection. I think this is absolutely gorgeous. I love, love, love it. And it's the faceplate I'm actually going to keep on her because it is my favorite. I think of her as a beautiful cat out on the city. Even though I still think she looks more like a bunny with this on, I'm going to go with what everybody else is telling me. <laughs> and I'm going to try um, rolling the dice with another doll um, from the set. Maybe the yellow one, the red one, or the blue one. Um, I'm talking about their dress colors. See if I can get lucky and get that bunny faceplate. Isn't she adorable? But wait, there's more. <laughs> there's gonna be a few times of that in the um, video. Here are the shoes that came with the outfit. She has these really big pink boots with dark pink trimming and a buckle around here, then a white heel. So those go on her feet and I actually kind of prefer these on her feet because her feet are so teeny tiny compared to the rest of her body <laughs> that I like that she has shoes. And they were extremely easy to get on her feet, just a matter of slipping them in. Do I like boots with this dress? I think it looks weird, but it looks better when we get the next few pieces. So I'm going to get into that right now. So you will see there is a lot of bits and bobs still in this box. First off, we have a secondary outfit here. So this dress, I think, will actually fit a Barbie. When I was looking at it, I was like, hmm, I think that might actually fit a Barbie. We'll try it on her, but um, I love the pink dress so much. This one doesn't really interest me as much. This one's a bit frou-frou, a bit flowery. Um, yeah, I don't really think it's her style. The pink one just goes with her head and with her face, her eyes, and her wig much better. Underneath, there are these two bags of all these different little things. So we're gonna rip these out and go through them. Oh my goodness, can I rip it out? Ha ah, I did it. That was very noisy. We've got a box to recycle. So in this bag, you will see there is another pink dress. It's the exact same dress she is wearing. Is there another and another t-shirt in there? So they've effectively given you three outfits. Two of the same pink dress and one purple dress, which is I think is amazing. But part of her outfit is still in there, which is this. This is this little I think it's meant to be like a lamb. But it could be like a lop eared rabbit, which is what I'm going to imagine it is, because haha, ha, I heart rabbits. You'll see it's lined with the same material of her dress, which all coordinates, and the ears have that lining as well. It has the same pink ribbon from her top, and the same lace trim on her dress, and then these two white, like, arm warmers. <laughs> I'm not into the arm warmers, they're a bit silly. Let's however get her dressed up. And then the next pieces in this bag are a whole bunch of additional hands. I mean, it's kind of like the Blythe dolls you get from AliExpress. They give you a whole bunch of um, handy moats. I call them handy moats because they're all, you know, there's victory signs, there's pointing. I think there's a thumbs up. There's a thumbs up. <laughs> 
in there. Um, yeah, so you can change your hands. They just pop out. And then, yeah, you just pick in the new one. So, but wait, there's more. <laughs> I'm amazed at, for $55, how many things you get. Three outfits, the gorgeous doll with three different face plates, a bunch of different hand emotes, and then this. So let's just kind of blip, 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 that down on the table and go through this. The first thing um, I wanted to note was the stand. Now I'm a bit worried about this stand as she is quite top heavy and I'm hoping that her joints, because this looks like a thigh hugger where it goes around the thighs, but I'm worried, if you can see she's standing on a doll stand at the moment, where it goes around her neck, it gives her all that support, and it's holding the heavy part, the neck, so it's straight up and down. I'm a little worried about this one. I felt her joints, and they feel quite good, but I don't know. It is a, it is a cheapy, but we'll find out pretty soon. Okay, I am keeping the animal face on. My husband came in and he's like, why don't you change it to the girl face? Dub people like Dolly, he's not in it. And I'm like, I need the animal. <laughs> I know it's a cat face, but I'm gonna pretend it's a bunny because I like bunnies. <laughs> all right, let's, all right. So it clips on right above her knee. Oh, she's so top heavy. This actually really worries me. There is a little plug down here, which is basically stopping her legs going from back a bit but they can easily slip out on that so I'm not sure if this is gonna oh oh she's wobbly it does stand up you can see that but any sort of bump or friction and she's gonna go backwards it's kind of one of those things if you stand her straight up she'll support her weight but It's not going to do it, is it? But I think any kind of, like a kid running past, etc. She's going to be a bit wopsy, you know, timber. So what I would suggest is because it is actually holding her quite well, actually this is doing, it's doing better than I thought it would, would be to put four points of blue tack underneath and then display her. And that should be good enough. So we're going to leave her, nope, this is where it's going to start. You've got to get it so her weight is going forward, so she's standing. See, it looks it looks weird. I'm going to get the blow tack, and then I'll stand her straight up. <laughs> she's scanning the ground for coins at the moment. <laughs> but then on top of that, you get this headband, which doesn't look like anything special, except look at all these little pieces you can put on the headband. So you can put this one on, and... uh. Look, she's gonna have bunny ears. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna have to try this on her. Let's bring her up with the bunny ears. That is adorable. She's got little bunny ears on. I love it so much. But there are different ones there, so we're gonna try the next one, which looks like a couple of deer ears. Here are the deer ears. I don't like them as much as the bunny ears, but there is an option. And then the ears that most likely go with her cat face are these cat ears here. And they're pink and white, so they go well with her outfit. Then some bull ears or um, cow ears or maybe little demon ears. I'm not too sure. There may be a cow face plate. I'm not too sure. I'll put, I'll write but down below in a comment if there is a cow face plate. But um, I kind of wish the horns were going forward rather than off to the side. It looks a bit strange. And last of all is the stag horns off to the side here. So that's again a very cute customizable pieces for your doll. I, I still prefer this to the ears. I think this is a lot cuter. So I'm going to keep her in this. And of course with the three face plates as I've said many times, I prefer the animal face plate. I'm so glad I got one of the animal ones. Um, I I love her looking like the doll. She is a cute doll and it is good quality plastic. It is not cheap, cheap plastic. It's not, you know, ball jointed <laughs> doll quality plastic, We're, but it's not ball jointed doll price. <laughs> it is a very, very cheap 
customizable doll and I say very very cheap in that if you put it into context um, in New Zealand uh, right now I believe for $69 is the LOL surprise OMG sisters they're for 69 New Zealand this doll comes with three outfits three face plates a whole bunch of customizable ears um, and a whole bunch of hands and you can see I've been doing the splits while she comes up to camera <laughs> and a whole bunch of little extras for just 55 New Zealand I've done a quick face change and stuck her in the second outfit which doesn't really go with the boots at all <laughs> um, I don't like the second outfit anywhere near as much as the outfit she comes with uh, to me it's also a tiny bit loose at the top so it feels more of like a Barbie size um, yeah, so I'm going to move this into the Barbie doll box, but maybe if she had some, a different hair colour and some high heel shoes, this would be cute. It's still a cute dress, uh, just not as cute as this. In my opinion, of course. Okay, so comparing her face, you know, I said to me she looks like Adele, like Adele doll influenced her. So I've got here a real Adele doll, which I'm going to turn up, and who's not very impressed with me for laying her face down on the ground. And if you just look at the faces, I think there is a bit of influence on Dell on her. The semi a big head on a smaller body, the pouty lip, the little upturned nose, and just the general shape of the eyes. I could be completely wrong, but to me, she does look like she has been influenced a little bit by the sweetheart. Say hello, darling. She's saying hello. <laughs> so I'm really impressed with this doll. Um, my, uh, so much that I said to my brother, I want another one. <laughs> and my brother has ordered me another one. And it's in the way in the post. On the way in the post. I think I ordered, I think he got me the blue one next. So we'll have a look at that one when it arrives. Hopefully it has different face plates with it. That would be really ace to have six different face places, uh, plates. But we'll see what comes. Now I've called her Miss Whiskers because I love these little whiskers at the side. <laughs> so Miss Whiskers, what should they do if they love dolls? Subscribe! <laughs> we love to open toys here and we love to share. And what should they do Miss Whiskers if they like this video? Give this video a thumbs up! just like that <laughs> thanks so much for watching guys i have a bunch of aliexpress dolls which i'm going to show over um over time that i've got coming in because i've actually been i was expecting cheap and i've actually been really impressed with the quality and the price i am going to do a video um for those who know me from uh bjd forums there is a lot of stink about buying recasts etc so i'm going to do a video on that sits in the that i'm going to be sitting on the fence basically giving arguments for both sides and then i leave it up to people if they think that they should buy recasts or fake dolls etc um i know it's a big debate <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, guys. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.